In this video I'm going to talk about myasthenia gravis, some facts about this disease, signs and symptoms, and causes and treatment. Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disease that affects the skeletal muscles. It is characterized by weakness and rapid fatigue of any of the muscles under voluntary control. The muscle weakness gets progressively worse with activity and improves with rest. Myasthenia gravis preferentially affects young women in their 20s and 30s and older men over the age of 60. Myasthenia gravis can affect any of the muscles that the patient controls voluntarily. It most commonly affects certain muscles, including those of face and eyes, arms and legs, and those muscles involved in chewing, swallowing and talking. Muscles that control breathing also can be involved. So, signs and symptoms may include facial muscle weakness, including drooping eyelids and double vision. Difficulty in breathing, talking, chewing or swallowing, muscle weakness in arms or legs, and fatigue that is caused by repetitive movements. To better understand myasthenia gravis, let's review normal muscle contraction but at the cellular level. When neuromuscular system functions normally, in a specialized area of muscles, called neuromuscular junctions, the chemical acetylcholine is released from presynaptic neurons to bind to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors on muscle cell membranes. Binding of acetylcholine to its receptor activates a chain reaction in the muscle cell that ultimately results in muscle contraction. So, acetylcholine transmits nerve impulses to muscles. In myasthenia gravis, there's a breakdown in this normal communication between nerves and muscles. In patients with myasthenia gravis, acetylcholine receptor antibodies are produced by the immune system, and these antibodies bind to nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, and they block or destroy many of the receptors, and this prevents the acetylcholine from being able to stimulate the receptor and trigger muscle contraction. So, with fewer receptor sites available, muscles receive fewer nerve signals, resulting in weakness. It is believed that the thymus gland, a part of immune system located in the upper chest, beneath the breastbone, may trigger or maintain the production of these antibodies. Some factors can make myasthenia gravis worse, including fatigue, illness, stress, extreme heat, and some medications, such as beta blockers, calcium channel blockers, and some antibiotics. Now let's talk about treatment that has been able to reduce mortality from myasthenia gravis. One type of medication is an acetylcholinesterase inhibitor, such as neostigmine or pyridostigmine. Acetylcholinesterase degrades acetylcholine, so acetylcholinesterase inhibitors stop acetylcholinesterase from breaking down acetylcholine, which leads to increased concentration of acetylcholine around muscle cells and helps counteract the effects of acetylcholine receptor antibodies, which improve muscle contraction and muscle strength. Other type of medication is using corticosteroids, such as prednisone, which inhibit the immune system, which then limit antibody production. Note that prolonged use of corticosteroids can lead to serious side effects, such as bone thinning, weight gain, diabetes, increased risk of some infections, and a redistribution of body fat. Finally, a lot of people with myasthenia gravis undergo surgical removal of the thymus. It's generally been believed that removal of the thymus gland brings relief to the majority of people with myasthenia gravis. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell button to be notified of the upcoming videos.